Hi, I'm Lee, one of the aquatics facilities operators here at Tanganyika Falls. And today, we're gonna do a behind the scenes tour of our equipment room to show you what it takes to keep our water clean, safe, and comfortable. Follow me. It takes a lot of equipment to move the water through the splash park to constantly filter and chlorinate it. So behind the splash park, beside our cabanalos, lives our pump house. That's where all of this equipment does all of this work. Let's go inside and take a look. So you can't tell from the outside, but this is actually a two-story building. Down below me, we have all of these pumps that serve various functions here at the splash park. One of these pumps is our recirculation pump. It runs 24-7. The rest of these pumps are for the features. They control things like the fountains, the leaping penguins, and some of the more interactive features here at Tanganyika Falls. When the water is passing through the system, the first thing it goes through is one of these filter baskets. These collect a lot of the larger debris, like hair and leaves, before the water goes on to the media filtration. After the water passes through the strainer baskets, it goes through these media filters. This is the part of the system that does the majority of the cleaning work. These filters mechanically remove most of the dirt, algae, and other contaminants down to about five microns in size. Smaller contaminants like bacteria and viruses are inactivated chemically by chlorine, our primary sanitizer, and by hydroxyl radical destruction in our AOP secondary sanitization system. Two of the most important properties for managing water quality and comfort are the pH and residual sanitizer or chlorine level. And this is our electronic system that does all of that by reading values from sensors in this flow cell. A portion of the water that goes through the system is constantly passed through this cell where it measures pH and ORP. Based on those readings, the system will add additional sodium hypochlorite or chlorine to adjust the sanitizer level and add additional hydrochloric acid to adjust the pH level. Additional manual checks are run multiple times a day to confirm and double check readings from the automated system. Some of the tubes running across the ceiling and back to the filters are what's carrying the sodium hypochlorite, chlorine, and hydrochloric acid from our storage tanks here on the outside of the building and injecting that into the water as it flows back to the splash park. 